cost William Wilberforce his life because he devoted himself so, so intensely to the world and trying to get his fellow countrymen to change their mind about keeping other humans in slavery. This song, as I mentioned, was written in 1779. 1779. Let's look at this first verse and sing it together for our Cecil Leeses. Church. 
In Acts chapter 6, we get an idea of some of the things that people said about the church. And Luke the historian says that they were lies. Speaking against the law of Moses, and speaking against the temple, and speaking against God. But that's what Paul was saying. He was saying all those things against Jesus and against Christianity. Things that weren't true. But Paul didn't care. You know, somebody who blasphemes doesn't care about truth. They've got an agenda. They're prejudiced for whatever reason. And that was Paul. But you can do more damage than just by speaking evil against someone. Paul also says here that he was a persecutor. In Acts chapter 8 and verse 3, Luke says that Saul of Tarsus ravaged the church. To ravage means to destroy violently. It's like you get a piece of paper and, and there's something written on it that you absolutely despise, and so you tear it to shreds. That's what the word ravage means. And Luke says that Saul tried to ravage the church. And he goes on to say about himself there, 1 Timothy 1 and verse 13, that he was a violent aggressor. A violent aggressor kind of combines the two former ideas. To violently, to be a violent aggressor means that you insult people in a violent way. And that's what he did to Christians. He was a murderer of Christians. In Acts chapter 9, Luke writes that Paul was headed to, Saul was headed to Damascus, breathing out threats and slaughters against the church. He had been there in chapter 7 when the Jews stalked Stephen to death. And there's no doubt on this occasion in Acts chapter 9 that Saul would have stoned other Christians if they had refused to be dragged to Jerusalem to, put, to be put into prison. It's no exaggeration to say that Saul hated the church. Saul hated the church. But, look what else he says there in verse 13. I will show mercy because I acted Ignorant. Is it better to do something wrong with full knowledge or to do it in ignorance? Are we more forgiving of someone if they do something bad against us in, in full knowledge or in ignorance? Generally, I think we're more forgiving if, if somebody does something bad in ignorance. Paul says, I was ignorant. Ignorant about what? Ignorant about Christianity. He had no doubt heard about some of the things relative to Christianity. The empty tomb. He had heard about the empty tomb. He probably believed the story that the soldiers, that the uh, Roman government paid the soldiers to tell people that the disciples came and stole the body. Saul probably believed that story. Maybe he believed the story that the women went to the wrong tomb. Maybe he believed the story that Jesus really didn't die on the cross. He just probably fainted because of the loss of blood. And when they put him in the tomb, the cool air kind of revived the spirit and then he walked out. Saul was ignorant about what happened on the day of Pentecost. When God sent the Holy Spirit on the apostles to inspire them to preach salvation through Jesus Christ. He was ignorant about that. Even closer to the time when Saul is introduced to the Bible story. He's ignorant about Peter and John in Jerusalem healing the man who was lame for 38 years in the name of Jesus Christ. He was ignorant of that. Whatever he was not ignorant of, he says there in verse 13, I acted ignorantly and unbelievable. Whatever he had heard, he didn't believe. I don't believe this foolishness about a risen Savior. I don't believe this foolishness about salvation through my sins being through this man from Galilee, Nazareth. That's like being from the other side of the tracks. Saul of Tarsus was too well educated.